You desperately need a beach day. You've decided on silver sands. Here's what to expect. Hi, I'm Stacey Olson with the Valentini team at William Ravis Real Estate. And on my channel, I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about living on the Connecticut coast. So you've packed up your towels and your sunscreen, your umbrella, and you're ready to head to Silver Sands. Here's what you need to expect when you go. First of all, Silver Sands is located in Milford, Connecticut, right on the Long Island Sound. As you enter the park, you're gonna be met by parking attendants. They are in the booths, so as you're driving up, they're going to ask you to stop. They are mostly just checking to see if you have a registered vehicle in the state of Connecticut. If you do, the park is free for you. But if you're coming from out of state, then you will have to pay a fee. A few years ago, the state of Connecticut started offering free shuttles to state parks, and Silver Sands is one of them. So this is great for people that don't drive or don't have access to a vehicle because they can get to the beach just like everyone else. And just to note, the beach opens at 8 a.m. and closes at sunset. After you park, the first thing you're gonna notice is this long bridge that takes you over to the beach. And you really should be aware of this because some people that might have difficulty walking or need some type of assistance, this can be a far walk. So just keep that in mind if you head on over. Once you get over to the beach, you're gonna see it is massive. This is probably one of the bigger beaches in the state of Connecticut. They do a great job because every night they comb the beach. So when you get there, like first thing in the morning, you can actually see the marks in the sand where they came through with the machinery to clean it up. So it looks really pristine first thing in the morning. This is a high capacity beach, but during peak season, it does get very, very busy. So sometimes they actually have to close it down when it reaches max capacity. So just to be safe, I would always check ahead to make sure that they're still allowing vehicles to come in because sometimes they close it because there's just too many people there. So just to give you a reference, when I was filming this specific video, it was a Monday in July and it was about 11 a.m. So as you can see from the videos, the beach is nowhere near full. But when I was leaving about an hour later around noon, I definitely saw more and more people coming in and the lot was really filling up. I would say a great tip is just to go a little bit early. So maybe plan on arriving by 11, 11.30 a.m. just to ensure you get a spot on that beach. Another great thing about Silver Sands is that it has a boardwalk and it connects Silver Sands to its neighboring Walnut Beach, which is a private beach um, for Milford residents. So if you don't live in Milford, you have to pay to go there. But I'm not gonna focus on Walnut Beach today, but the boardwalk that goes between Silver Sands and Walnut, if you do a round trip, it's about two miles. So it is a great way to get in some exercise and see the beautiful shoreline. Just a note, you cannot ride bikes on the boardwalk but there are designated bike lanes as you're entering the park and you can ride your bikes all throughout the parking lots and the paved walking areas that are not a part of the boardwalk. Also, no pets are allowed on the boardwalk or the beach at all. And you know, truly I do see people there all the time with their pets, which, you know, they're doing it at risk because I guess they could be ticketed I don't know, but it's usually not allowed. So to avoid any issues, I just wouldn't bring them there. If you don't plan on being on the boardwalk or on the beach, you can definitely bring your pets. So if you wanna bring your dog along, you can walk them in the parking lots and the paved paths, basically the same areas that bikes are allowed. The boardwalk really is a great way to kind of see the beach and how beautiful it truly is. You see the marshlands and you see so much wildlife. Almost every time I go, I see egrets and every time it just never gets old. They're so beautiful. Silver Sands also offers a snack stand and there's a bunch of tables right out front. So if you don't wanna be sitting out in the sun on your beach blanket eating your food, you can sit up at the tables that are located up there next to the shop. 
And you know, they offer the usual suspects, hot dogs, hamburgers, french fries, onion rings, goodies like ice cream and cookies. So they have all of that stuff. So if you don't feel like packing a lunch or snacks, you definitely can stop by and grab some food. Now again, when I was shooting this video, it was early in the morning, so the snack shop was not yet opened, but it usually would open around noon. Also conveniently located next to the snack bar are the bathrooms. So, I mean, this is a huge thing, especially when you have young ones. You always wanna have access to a bathroom, so just be aware that it is there, and they are right in the same building, basically, as the snack bar. And as a side note, if the snack bar isn't doing it for you, you can head over to the east end of the beach and take a quick walk over to East Broadway where the Greek spot is. This is a local restaurant that is a favorite among people that are from Milford. And as the name implies, they have great Greek food options. So if you don't feel like having what the snack stand offers, this is always a great option for you. And obviously they have great Greek food on the menu, but they also have, you know, sandwiches, salads, burgers, and fries. So I think it's worth the short walk over on East Broadway. Also conveniently located up near the snack bar is the lifeguard station slash office, I would call it. And every day they have a sign posted right outside the door that shows the high tide and the low tide times. So that really helps people out because, you know, some people want to come at specific times of the day, especially if they want to go see the next thing I'm going to tell you about. And now for the most amazing feature of Silver Sands, Charles Island. So, you know, there's stories about Captain Kidd and hidden treasure on the island. And I don't know if any of those stories are true, but it's still fun to imagine. But truly, the best thing about the island is that at low tide, a land bridge is exposed that goes from the shore to the island. I think that's pretty cool. It's something called a trombolo, I believe. And there's only about 70 of them in the world. And we have one right here in Milford at Silver Sands. Who would have thought? So this is a huge attraction for people that come to the beach. And if you time it correctly, during low tide, you can walk from the shore to the island and back in about an hour. But be warned, people don't realize how quickly that tide rises, especially in the sound. And several times a year, people either get stranded out on the island or get swept up with the undertow while they're racing back to try to get back to shore. So several times a year, Milford Fire Department police have to go rescue people because of these types of incidents. Honestly, I just saw on the Milford Facebook page a couple weeks ago that this happened. I think like six people got stranded out there. I mean, it's all fun to go out there, but you really need to be responsible and make sure that you get back in time. Also, there are signs posted all over the beach that explicitly say, do not hike the water covered sandbar. So as appealing as it may be to head on over to the island, you really do it at your own risk, even at low tide. And also, if you do decide to go over there, the island is a nesting habitat for some protected species of birds. So you are not allowed at all to walk on the interior of the island during, I think, the summer months at all. Maybe in the off season when the birds aren't there, you may be able to go in. But don't quote me on that, but you definitely are off limits, especially in the summer when all the birds are there. And quite honestly, it's patrolled. So you will get caught if you're walking around on the island, except on the immediate shoreline. So Silver Sands really does have a lot to offer a beachgoer. You know, it has the usual beautiful sandy beaches. It has a boardwalk, a snack bar, and Charles Island. I mean, there's plenty of things to do there to keep you occupied all day. So if you're looking for another beach idea, check out my video on the West Haven beaches. 
There are so many there and they all have their own unique flavor. And if you like my videos, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next week.